Look, my friends, headed out today. Kids are done with school, have been for two hours, and Kaylee is going to her first driving lesson. Are you coming? Wish us luck. I asked her if she wanted me to go in the car with her, with the teacher. I think she said no. And I think they're gonna be surprised how well she does. I don't think we're going to admit that she's been driving for a year now. <laughs> without a permit. It is what it is when there's a pandemic and a quarantine period and no one on the road. driving school and uh, I can't go in there with her like she is because of COVID restrictions they can only have the test person and the instructor so she's gotta like you know she doesn't like doing this kind of stuff she likes me to like be in charge and like talk to adults so this is good for her to have to go in and be in charge and sign in and talk to the instructor and get it all signed up and then this cute little white car out here is probably the one she's gonna drive. Like I said, she's been driving for a year, but it's kind of nerve wracking to go with someone new and like show them that you're good at doing it. So anyway. Okay, she's off driving. I've been drinking my cold beverage here for a second, but I'm right outside of Hobby Lobby and I actually have a very small inkling to decorate. I probably won't decorate like summery I had, a, had small intentions to maybe do like a lemon lemonade type summer theme decoration, just like a few areas. Yeah, and that like went away really quick. <laughs> but I do think I'm gonna decorate for the 4th of July, at least the porch and like the door and maybe, maybe like my front table will have like 4th of July on it. Cause I don't have anything on it right now. I have, I took everything off for everyone's birthdays and I really wasn't inspired to like redo it. And so I think I'm gonna go into Hobby Lobby and either get inspiration of what to do with the, what, the decorations that I have or pick up a, a thing or two to help me kickstart the decorations. I don't tend to even decorate for the 4th of July until after the kids are out of school. So I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Maybe in a month. But this will kind of get me thinking about it and get a plan set. Oh, my mantle doesn't have anything on it either. I don't know. So maybe I'll get something to go on my mantle. My mantle, I'm like thinking of redoing the whole thing. Like that big wood piece that goes over, it's a faux um, beam that goes over my original mantle. I think we did a video on that. But um, we're both thinking it's too big and chunky now. We're kind of doing like the white craftsman theme in the house now, slowly, very, very slowly. Maybe I'll paint it white. Anyway, so that's kind of my thought process. I'm gonna head over to Hobby Lobby here. Okay, I'm already like way into this little rug here. I just wish this stuff was on sale. Don't know if it is or not. I don't think I see Kaylee's car back yet. So one thing about Hobby Lobby that I'm disappointed in, but I totally get it, and I'm surprised that they lasted this long. There's a student driver, he's gonna hit the cone. <laughs> and I would show you, but their license plate would show and I don't wanna like call them out. They're trying to parallel park. The student is trying to parallel park in their own car right in front of me, which must mean that they're taking their test because they practice in the actual like company cars and then they take the test in theirs. They nearly hit the cone and the curb. So I don't think they just passed that section of the test. 
Anyway, Hobby Lobby, they eliminated their coupons, which is really disappointing. We all know that they have like their sales, 40, 50% off. I even saw stuff for 90% off today. So I get it, and it's surprising that they took this long to do it, but I lucked out. I got this little 4th of July flag, but it like is one of those ones that goes on the little, um, oh, I don't know what they call these. It's like a stake. Can you even see this? So it's like a banner that hangs down from this pole that sticks out. And then this end, it's really awkward. And then this part right here, I'll show you when I get home because I'm going to put it outside. Then that part goes into the ground. And I've actually wanted one of these for a while. And I was like, oh, I want one of those. And so I lucked out on that. But they don't do coupons. And this 4th of July stuff is not on sale right now, which is unfortunate. I'm going to wait and probably go back and get something else. Oh, he's trying again. He's going to hit the cone again on the other side. Oh, no, he's doing better. Nope, turn, turn your wheel, turn your wheel, turn your wheel. <laughs> they, oh, they're going to hit the curb. Oh, dear. Nope, they hit the curb. This could be a really, like, entertaining. <laughs> Come and sit here and watch. Oh, they saw me. I don't want them to think I'm looking at them. Anyway, I'm going to wait and see if these go on sale. Because I did see a rug. One or two rugs that I actually want for front porch. And one maybe even underneath like where I sit at the bench, because I don't like the texture on my feet of the, like the concrete. But it totally got me inspired to decorate for the fourth. So I don't think I'm gonna do it today, but I think tomorrow and Friday, I'm gonna pull up my hair and I'm gonna pull out my, Christ my decorations, not my Christmas, my Fourth of July decorations, go through it all. And I wanna make a really, really cute front porch display because that's where everyone can see everything. People come over, to get the girls and to get Kaylee and all of their friends and stuff. So that'll be really cute to do for the front porch. But it's sad that they don't have the coupons. <laughs> but I was really inspired by the stuff that I saw. I have some good ideas in my head. One sign that I might actually make myself. Let's see if Kaylee's pulling in. Oh, there, nope. Maybe that is her, that is her. Nope, someone else with long brunette hair. So I think we're gonna do that tomorrow and Friday. That'll be kind of fun. What else am I doing tonight? Kaylee just has a whole bunch of, so she does this driving class in person, and then she has, um, oh, I have a, a doctor appointment with her virtually, with her pediatrician, and then she has driving class, and then I have an activity for church, and we're gonna go learn how to make salsa. Not that we don't know how to make salsa, but I'm hoping that they're gonna do like different kinds, because I would love to like, make like a pineapple salsa or a mango salsa or I've done strawberry salsa. Have you guys done that before? Leave a comment if you have like really good salsa recipes. I don't like spicy ones. I don't mind a little bit of a kick, but I love like fruity salsas, that kind of thing. I'm trying to think what ones. I've had a peach mango before. We sell that like in the local, you know, local kind from the grocery store. So we're gonna do that for activity tonight but our state and church still can't, is still in the mode of you can't eat in group settings, so we can't eat any of the salsa while we're there. <laughs> we just have to sit and watch it be made. Oh, she's done, hang on. Just as I thought, he's like, oh, she's a really good driver. I don't think you have too many concerns. You're very good, Kaylee. Um, he's like, it shows, she's not a nervous driver at all. <laughs> what? I didn't want to tell him, I'm like, yeah, she's been practicing for a year. Did you tell him? No. Okay. I wasn't sure if we should admit that. I think you just knew. Yeah, it kind of shows, but you haven't been a nervous driver from the beginning. So that kind of helps. He's already like, okay, let's just work on like two lane, four way stops. And oh, did you just hit your funny bone? Two way, four way stops? Two lane, four way stops is what he said, right? No, two ways and four ways. Oh, two way and four way stops. But anyway. And then what else did he say? That was kind of, and turning. And turning, which is easy. Just like knowing ahead of time what direction you're gonna turn and kind of easing into the turn instead of, you have a, uh, Sorry, I was, I gotta get my seatbelt on. But then I think we're gonna head home. Cause you have, oh careful. Okay, we are gonna go put this outside. See what it looks like. Should be pretty cute. It's a little smaller than I thought it was. But that's okay. Ashley, 
literally like watches her iPad until the very last second she has to put it down. Okay, I have the steak in the ground. Kind of got it dirty. Which way does it go? So, like that. Is that the right way? I think it needs to go the other way. Okay. I don't know, it seems like so weird because it's like sideways, but maybe I need to pull it out more behind the bush too much. Okay, I think I like it right there. It's kind of cute. And then I think I'm going to do another pot with all my flowers in it right here in the front. And I think that'll be cute. I might move it depending on where I put the pot so that we have like a three way going on. Can you hear the birds? So cute. Apparently, Abby made banana bread, I think. Yep. Off. I was like, why is the oven on and why is it warmer in here than I normally have it? And it's because this is cooking. Okay. Perfectly done. I also, I'm, I'm hot. I just had to pull my hair up for a minute. I also need to clarify per Kaylee. This is given her permission and I've only hesitated on it because I didn't want it to be awkward. But now that her boyfriend has been on the channel, he watches, and so hello, <laughs> Jacob. Um, I, she wants me to call him her boyfriend, and that's fine. I just didn't want to embarrass them or say it when, I, I just didn't want to like overstep the boundary of that. So, just gonna say that. I'm not gonna say her friend anymore. She said that bothers her more than anything, so. He is what he is, he's her boyfriend, and we are taking things nice and slow while they are just, he's 17 and she's 16, that's totally fine. They're outside hanging out. Um, he hung out here at the house while I took her to the driving school and then she went out with all their other friends outside. Um, and I'm gonna quickly eat the rest of my Cafe Rio salad from yesterday. I gave that to Kaylee when she got home from her, um, well she, was starting to get symptoms from her COVID shot. Didn't actually turn into anything, which I'm glad for. Hopefully you saw that video because I think it's important to see what reactions these teens and the younger kids are gonna start to get because it's a new you know, experience to have the younger kids. Um, some people are still hesitant, and that's totally fine. I'm very confident in it. Someone was asking me why I was so confident in having my kids get the vaccine. And again, it's because I came from a medical background. My father believes that they should get vaccinated. He's a physician. My pediatrician says that they, she gave the okay when we went, like for all of our checkups, just barely. She was like, yes, like I give it the thumbs up. As soon as, you know, the CDC says it's okay, go ahead and go get it. That's why I feel comfortable with it. I think a lot of people hesitate because they don't either have a good relationship with their pediatrician or they just really haven't been involved with you know, medicine in their life. But I have sisters who are nurses and my dad is a doctor and my sister-in-law is a nurse practitioner, has her own practice. Again, like, it's just comfortable for me to like, say the scientists did their job, this is safe. So, anyway, I'm gonna go eat my salad. I'm watching a show, I can't remember what it's called, on Netflix, it's like a little movie about a murder. Wishar, is that what it's called? Clove Hitch Killer. I will see you guys in a bit, because then we have a doctor's call virtually, and then I'll probably edit again until dinner time, which I won't be hungry for dinner. Jason's gonna have to do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the younger girls. And I don't see Ashley and Chelsea. They're at the park, and I won't see them until dinner. Maybe I'll see them once or twice before, because it's, for them, it's gonna be hot out there. They're gonna have to come home and get some more water. They get hot. We have to come back for water and snacks. I'm gonna head to my activity tonight. Jason came home from work and he's kind of 
doing dad duty on dinner and bedtime and homework for the two younger girls. And um, I don't know really what to expect, but I know that the person doing it is really good at her parties. <laughs> but we can't eat it here. So I will have some to take with me and show you. And then if it's a really good recipe, I'll share it with you. But again, I don't do spicy. So we'll see how it goes. And you can link your um, salsa recipes down below. And that might be it for the night in case I don't get back on. I might, we'll see. I don't know. Jason might want to say hi too. We'll just find out.